So, one of the most um, recent programs that I've started to use in my CP Chem class is this program called Molecular Polarity. It's from a website uh, where I've gotten a lot of other programs, and it gives a visual for chemistry concepts, which if you've taken chemistry, you probably know it's extremely abstract and it's, it's tough to visualize on your own. This particular one excited me because it wasn't on the website, and I actually emailed the, uh, the people who make these programs, and I asked them, hey, can you, do you mind making a program explaining molecular polarity? Because my students have a really hard time understanding that. And I was really, really happy because they emailed me back and they told me, hey, we would work on it. And then, like, five months later, this past summer, I noticed it was there. So I started utilizing it this year. And just to quick show how it works, um, there are three tabs. Um, I guess I'll just explain the first one. All right, so there's two atoms here, covalently bonded. And you can move them around, as you can see. You can kind of just flip them around. And electronegativity, which is a measure of how much an atom wants an electron, you can increase or decrease the, electronegat the relative electronegativity of these atoms. What that means is that you can, if you make atom B really electronegative and atom A really low in electronegativity, you can actually see this arrow which is showing where the electrons are moving and therefore how polar the bond is. Um, you can also, if you take atoms electro, atom B's electronegativity and make it smaller, you can see the arrow shrink because the difference is not as large and therefore it's not as big of a pull. So if I make it a very uh, vast difference in electronegativity and then say I take these metal plates on the side and make one positive and the other negative, if I have the molecule say like this and then I make an electric field, you can see how the molecule will align itself depending on where the electrons are. So because the electrons are moving to the right, more electrons are on this side, electrons are negative, so it aligns itself with the positive because opposites attract. So I can move it back here and try to keep it that way, but you can actually see that it will align itself no matter what. 